A mother of young children found out a child was killed on the corner of her street because someone disobeyed a stop sign and struck the child. This mother felt very strongly about making sure nothing like this happened again, so she lobbied for a traffic light to be installed. She was enraged by the fact that the state told her a traffic light would not be put in because two people had to be killed at an intersection in order to require the installation of a traffic light. To ensure there would be a traffic light at that intersection, she took her four-year-old daughter and infant son to ask neighbors to sign a petition in order to make sure the traffic light would be put in place. This mother was Jean Mueller, the mother of Ellen Bell, a retired attorney and resident of the Lehigh Valley. Ellen believes this event was central to the development of her sense of citizenship. It inspired her to believe, if I want something to be changed, I have to go out and do something about it. She considers citizenship a responsibility people have to their communities, nations, and the world. She thinks people should think about what is going on around them and ask themselves, is this really good for us? Is what we are doing smart? Ellen feels this way about many of the issues facing the United States, especially in regards to war. She has been very active in demonstrating against the Vietnam War as well as the war in Iraq. During the time she demonstrated against the Vietnam War, she traveled often to participate in the anti-war movement. She remembers a time when her family traveled to Washington, D.C. in order to protest the war. Ellen and her husband, among many protesters, were arrested during the demonstration. Only people with small children were permitted to leave, so she and her family were released. Ellen felt she needed to help other people who felt as strongly as she did to be released from the detention center, so she passed her two-year-old son over the fence of the area to the other people who were arrested so that they would also be permitted to leave. Ellen's activism against wars did not end when the Vietnam War ended. When the United States invaded Iraq, Ellen found herself in strong opposition of it. She felt the war was a distraction to the other issues facing the country and that the United States had started it on false premises by discussing things such as Iraq having lives to create weapons of mass destruction, yellow cake uranium, and mushroom cloud smoking guns. She and her current husband, Philip Reese, an Air Force veteran, have been very active in the anti-war movement. As members of Veterans for Peace, they have demonstrated against the war in various places. Ellen feels that by engaging in these anti-war protests, she is fulfilling her obligations as a citizen to stand up, speak out, and work for the changes she believes are necessary for her country. She believes questioning authorities, seeing to the well-being of the community, and standing up for what one believes needs to be done in order to live in a healthy society is the true meaning of what it is to be a citizen.